wanted to see me about the late Michael Brenner. I just wanted to let you know that I'll find those responsible for his death. Responsible? But he took his own life. He was driven to it! Jake. You mind if I call you Jake? I understand he was your friend. And it's a tragedy, those terrible accidents involving his wife. And then his daughter. I don't believe there are accidents. Let me show you something. Her name is Eleanor Williams. Yesterday she found her husband in bed with their maid. She hacked them both to death with a meat cleaver. Less than an hour later, she was here, uh -oh. continually reliving her own simulated death uh -oh. by her own means. Do you know why? As soon as their chip stopped functioning, we knew someone had died. We knew from Eleanor's chip that she was close to the scene. So a containment team was sent out immediately. The evidence was collected, processed, and the computer made its judgment. Sentencing was carried out immediately. Everyone is watched, Jacob. Everyone is continually monitored by the technological miracle of the tiny chip in your arm. And in yours, Chief Justice. I'm simply saying, if your friend's wife and daughter had been murdered, someone would be serving time in the vaults right now. How could they escape? Our watchers are everywhere. And who watches the watchers? I do. And who watches you? You should never have gone to see him. I had to look into his eyes. To know if he did. Michael is dead because he spoke out against the Chief Justice. And they'll be on to you now. Which means they'll be onto the rest of us as well. She's right. I'm telling you, Jacob, I am not prepared to die for this cause. You call this living? In a prison camp when the Chief Justice wills us off. Someone has to speak out. No, Johnny's right. They'll just do to us what they did to Michael, and to his wife, and to his daughter. The time for speaking is over. There is nothing else we can do. There is. We're gonna kill the Chief Justice. Bring down the system. Huh. Alright, equipment. Aaron, I need you to take a trip to the prosthetics lab. Johnny? I need you to get me some painkillers, some heavy-duty painkillers. Jacob, long time no see. Sorry, old friend, but this time it's business. I need your help. Got to be insane. The only way, George. Gotta get rid of my chip. As soon as my chip is destroyed, the alarms will go off at the Department of Justice. They'll send out containment teams to hunt me down. But I'll be heading to the one place they'll never expect me to be. Aaron, you'll need to distract the security guards.
have to come with me, sir. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I walked through the wrong end. Without my chip, the detectors won't even register my presence. Oh, don't worry, Sue. Just close the door. It's Jacob, isn't it? Do you realize how much trouble you're in? <laughs> we both know I don't have much time, Chief Justice, so I'll keep this brief. Since you were elected to this office, the Department of Justice has destroyed thousands of lives through blackmail, coercion, and murder. And I know that you're personally responsible for the death of my good friend, Michael Brenner. Containment teams are already on the way, Jacob. Very soon, you'll be serving your time in the vaults. Your theories will never be known. You know, Tranicide is really quite incredible. Within four hours of release, it renders itself harmless and undetectable. But if anyone is exposed to it before then, they'll be dead within four hours. What have you done that for? You've killed us both! Four hours, Chief Justice. Use it well. I know I will. Even if you can kill him, someone else would just take his place. They won't care if you're dead or alive. They'll stick you in one of those tubes. I know. The only way to force an investigation is to make sure they never catch me. Then the system will have failed, the people will demand a public inquiry, and the tyranny of the Department of Justice will finally be revealed. Jacob! Jacob! Containment team! Nowhere to run, Jacob. Don't make this any harder for yourself. Johnny, you still there? I'm here. This is it, Johnny. Endgame. I don't know what to say. How about I love you? <laughs> you know I do. You know I love you. I know. There's nothing else to say. It had to be this way. <laughs> Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye. I'm very sorry, Miss Warren. I really am. But we're not about to throw away everything we built based on the actions of one man. I don't understand. Your lover escaped justice. He's the only person to have done so since this program began. But as far as the public are concerned, it never happened. Because you were going to take his place.
justice will always be served.